Isn't that the end one? Yeah, I thought this was the ending song. Oh, this is the beginning song. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's over already. Last time oh, shit. on the Myriad. Well, actually, the whole recap. So far, the players are in a small town known as Sideways in the middle of nowhere. They are the town is most well known for having someone in an individual in it called the Redeemer. He keeps the town safe and the rest of the world is scared of him. So no one will come here and they are separate from the rest of the world. The Redeemer has recently died. How? I don't know. No one actually asked. <laughs> but since then, our party has yeah. tried to take up the mantle of the Redeemer and do some of the tasks around town that he would normally do. Things that they were unaware that he was even doing because he was a drunk asshole Sundere loser. So they went to Hendrike's cabin and cleansed his cabin of the remnants of nature due to Hendrike. Who knows? Didn't really understand that very well either. But now we are going to um, have a meeting, a little bit of a Zoom meeting with some of the NPCs in town, recap what's happened, decide what to do next, as Scarlet has been researching the origins of the Redeemer and if he is even replaceable. So we are joined here in the ossuary, the top of town, where all the bones are stored to keep the town's history alive as they can touch them and see the object history of the skulls within. Uh, we've got the Elder all the way on the left here for moral support in case anyone wants to talk to the Elder, because uh, she also did send you on that Hendrike quest. Um, you Would you say that this is an emergency meeting? This is an emergency meeting. <laughs> Something sus happened. Oh, shit. Well... Scarlet will begin by asking everyone in the group who is gathered here upon her request. You've all had time to rest and recover. And I think... <clears throat> uh, it would be most appropriate if we... You told us what you did while you were at Hendrik's cabin before we proceed. Um, well, we killed all his dogs and then we killed him. Yeah, he was so weird and, uh, you know, gross. So we stabbed oh, him. I stabbed him. And, and we burnt his house down, too. Yeah, just to be sure. Ah, you burned his house down. That's that's good news. We wouldn't want those amalgams recovering over time. Wait, should right? I? Right? Was... They can I come was back? telling them. Wait, Fire solves that... everything. Was that a... So it was a good thing we did. That was a good... If... We did good? We're being technical. The house is built with steel and stone, so it probably wasn't burnt down all the way. Well, you of might want to course, back. you would want to make sure that all the remains were destroyed so that they don't recover. I admit it's weird to talk about this in front of you, Elder, as we've gone back and forth, that bodies should be destroyed. I wish every single one of them were taken away by a dragon, but we stopped that a long time ago. Yeah, hey, uh, what's up with that? Can we can we get some uh, explanation on what that dragon is doing? The, the dragon is taking the bodies away to the bottomless lake, so they can't harm humanity anymore. Well, I, I mean, it's got to have a bottom, right? I mean, there ain't nothing that's actually bottomless. Unless you go into the right bars, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, come on, it's funny, come it's on. It's my pony. <laughs> oh, yes, very good. <laughs> she knows. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so, so hold on. You're saying that every single time someone dies, they turn into an amalgam? I have not witnessed this process myself, as the Redeemer always took care of it, but through reading, yes, it points to... Uh, some long time ago, nature infected all of humanity with this curse, that when we die, we become, well, forces of evil. And is it just oh, that humanity sucks. that's affected by this? Or... Uh, strangely, yes. Trolls, any of the other sentient races, it doesn't seem to happen to anything. Copernicus raises his hand. Yes, Copernicus? Does that mean he had died before we arrived? Because he recognized me, I am sure of it. Oh, dear. There's no way he could recognize you, he was dead. No, he recognized me and he tried to kill me. Well, that is 
just within their nature to try and kill and create more no. amalgams. He knew me. I stand by Copernicus in this. It's strange that it went for him and only him. That is strange, though... That shouldn't be possible, and I suspect that you're all a little traumatized from the encounter. I, well, I can recall say you being friends. He's definitely traumatized from the encounter. I'm definitely traumatized. I fucking died. What do you mean you guys are traumatized? I'm okay. I was next to him when Emmy shouted. I almost died. Oh, yeah, we should probably come up with a code word so that doesn't happen again. Oh, poor Jimmy. I, I don't know why the Redeemer chose you for this. You're clearly too young if you'd like to back down. Hey, Jimmy's seen more than all of us combined. No, I have to hey. stick around. I solve problems with this hammer. Problems they can't seem to get done. Uh, I can't say no. The Redeemer's choice was made, and you seem fine. I'm just, I'm just emotionally scarred right now. Don't you use a fire sword now? Maybe. Yeah. That does bring up one topic that we should discuss: is how would you like to deal with bodies going forward? As burn. The Burn. One, yeah, I second I mean, burn fire, them. I mean, yeah, fire, fire seems pretty good. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, hypothetically, what if there's one that doesn't burn? Nope, burn. Excuse me, a body that doesn't burn. I don't know. I'm just thinking about every single possibility. Ah, I have we read of some such dragon. thing. But that is the proposal. Should it be left to the dragon, or are we just going to simply burn? The second one. So, hypothetically, what happens if the dragon isn't fed? Well, dragons have never done anything to this town. And she gestures behind her to the gigantic skull of a dragon. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> uh, actually... That skull should look very different, because uh, the art for dragons changed a lot. Mm. Uh, so it's a lot more like a giant person skull, like a giant a giant people face. Oh, here, let me oh. just <laughs> let me just move that real quick. <laughs> I it was just a giant. Giant people oh. face. Make yeah. People happy. People dead. People dead. No. People no, don't kill the people. No, people. People die hey. when they are killed. So, uh, what's up with that? Like, uh, you know, what you, what you doing around here? Like, uh, does you keep them friendly with us or what? Uh, the ancient history of this town from the little bits we've been able to hold on to and piece together is that in some way or another, it is believed this town was founded by the aspect of death himself, who is the creator of all dragons. They live peacefully amongst us, and as far as I can tell and what I've heard from travelers, the Elder as well, is that dragons typically keep to themselves and don't bother anyone. They just pick up the remains of those left behind to make sure that they don't turn into what you saw. Wait, you're saying that they're among us right now? Yeah. Whoa, that's suspicious. <clears throat> Alright, very well. We are burning bodies from now on, correct? Yes. Works yes. For me. Until there's one that we can't if. Then the next order of this emergency meeting is... Ah, oh, where do I start? <laughs> I haven't been able to find out all that much about what the D Redeemer actually was or what he did. I found one unsealed letter amongst all of his belongings left by his father, Ranji, and admittedly it doesn't really help all that much. It's honestly quite sad that it was left unread, though easy for me to decipher given that. 
It suggests that the Redeemer would travel somewhere far, far away and return with someone in their mind or with them. I, I assume it's in their mind because the Redeemers never came back with anyone. The Elder remembers when Mahant left and was gone for roughly two years before returning with the Redeemer's power. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't know where that is, or what that means, or... or anything. So... Same. The only other thing that I've been able to find is that all the Redeemer shared in one quality, and that there is a special place nearby where they would all visit quite frequently. I don't know what is in it, what a cave... Mm, to the north, along the precipice, uh, something to, to them was very important in there. And I think that this would be a great place to start, to try and figure out what they needed from that location. Well, all right, we can go cave diving. Uh, right. Uh, one more thing. She gestures to the weird clump of rocks behind her wrapped in vines and it's really hard to tell what it is it kind of looks like it's a hand and an arm but it's gigantic and made of stone this was found amongst the remains of the redeemer when he had died it is quite unusual i've never seen anything like it the ancient well, myth uh, it's an arm i've seen an arm before i got one right here i got two of them yes me too. He raises yeah. both of his arms. Hey, check it out! Uh, hey, yes, Tony but your arms are not made of stone, are they? No, no, but it's you know. He said, "Well, Why that's true." Flexes. I don't know, but if you tap and crack open the rock even a little bit, you can see that the insides have like muscle tendons, but made of vines and roots and greenery. It's unsettling. Whatever led that's to the sure Redeemer's we... death. This is you, definitely you related. A tree. Oh, this is a tree. You're talking about a tree right now. I I seen those before. Are, are trees made of stone, Tony? You're being a fool. Well, yes, yeah, stone trees. I'm going to have <laughs> to ask you to keep again. your voice down if you're going to keep interrupting with such nonsense. <laughs> okay, all right. Sorry, sorry. Copernicus waves his hand a little bit, gently. It, yes, Copernicus. Is it insensitive to ask? But how did the Redeemer die? But that's what we're trying to get across here that this was found so you found him in a field with a stone arm brody found him when he was out hunting he also said that he heard the sounds of the aegis order fighting their machines of war and they had yes. run and he investigated the site where the combat had happened and the redeemer yes. dead left amongst this arm yes now who is this order <laughs> you just spoke of the Aegis Order has a fort to the north. I don't know much about them. They are apparently similar to wardens, making sure nature does not cross into the paths of mankind. Good. I like them. The Redeemer should have worked with them. <clears throat> too soon? I apologize. I, I don't know if it's too soon. I don't know if he was working with them or fighting them or what this arm even means. I will say this much. If they are somehow responsible for the Redeemer's death, then I don't trust them. We don't know enough information yet, though. He was smart. He knows more than we do, so we should rely That's not on... Hard. I got a question. This Aegis Order, is it outside the bounds of our town? <clears throat> um... They are... Wait collectively like everywhere they're not located in one specific spot but there is a notable fort about halfway up the road coming down into sideways to the north where they have established a fortification uh, and they have a whole bunch of uh like ballistas and stuff they're mostly known for fighting with siege equipment they would boast about killing things such as dragons and taking down great creatures 
and trying to keep humanity safe in the way that the consulate won't, because the consulate mostly focuses on making sure no one goes insane and madness and larger, more economic-focused problems, so the Aegis Order fills the gap of actually trying to protect the people. Okay. But as young Eerie was saying, yes, I think it would be too dangerous to confront them at this point, and if they know the Redeemer is dead, their vengeance may be coming if they want to take more territory. We should use this time to figure out anything we can about the Redeemer and regain some of his power, or... Well, surely whoever killed the Redeemer knows he's dead, not just us. Indeed. Ominous silence. We could go check out that cave. Yeah, well, I mean, what? Be the only what way that we have right now. Yeah, I mean, the, the cave sounds important. We should go check out the cave. It's the Redeemer's cave. We got to go inside his cave. Is that the name of the cave? Uh, I'm unaware of any name. If you want to name it. All right, it we got to go check out the Redeemer's cave. I mean, if it's called the Redeemer's cave, that should have been like modish one that we should go check uh, it out you know like tony may i say that you have normally a charming big mouth but we also need to discuss our policy on travelers coming through town if we were to say anything about a redeemer's cave the outsiders. death of a redeemer we should ban yeah. outsiders from traveling in yeah why don't we call it the forbidden that cave that way nobody like will that. go in that might just direct more attention no, why? It's the Forbidden Cave. Why would you want to go in a Forbidden Cave? We could call it the Unassuming Cave of Little Importance. Yeah. The Nonchalant Cave. The Rock Cave. Hmm. You know, I like it. Fun enough that it would probably work. Boring, boring. Rock Cave. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Boring Rock em Cave. Empty Rock Cave. Mmm, yes. I Not like it. Empty, empty Cave. I think Stone Cave was good enough. The no, cave. I don't know. Do you need to be sure? Okay, the cave of nothingness. You tell him, Elder. Oh, it doesn't matter what we call the cave. Should I ask the traveling merchant to leave? No, hang on, hang on, hang on, yes. hang on. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! You say it doesn't matter what we name the cave. I think it does. I think it does matter. Whatever we call it, you know, this is our chance to name a landmark. How often do we get to do that? Mm, if we make it a landmark, then that means people want to visit it. We no, should we not. It's a landmark for us, but not for everyone we're else. We're naming it for ourselves. Yeah, this is for us. This is like a for us thing. Okay, for for us, what did we all decide on? Empty rock cave. Empty rock cave. I'm already suspicious. Yeah. Oh, it's empty. Just, just call it, we could just call it a cave. That sounds like it's important. Okay, then. Yeah, the cave? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Then. Nah, 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 yeah, yeah. We should... Wait. And... Hmm, what, what? Call it Grass Hill. Don't even mention the cave. Oh, there's an idea, yeah. Nobody wants to touch grass. It makes yeah. so much sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, then, it is agreed that you're all going to travel to the Grass Hill. Yeah, there you go. Wink. Wink. You gotta wink when you say it. Grass Hill, Tony winks. Uh, Scarlet does Jimmy winks. winks. I try to wink, but I just keep winking. Wink. Yeah, well, Copernicus blinks. <laughs> oh, all right, then. Um, let me think if there was anything else. I, I suppose that about covers it. If you have any questions, I, I guess now would be the time we could all discuss, but uh, the plan seems quite clear. Well, there was one thing. If there are any people who visit the town while we're gone, we should probably just not let them inside, because we don't want anyone to find out the Redeemer is dead yet. Well... 
If we don't let anyone pass through, it could cause more tensions and people might get suspicious of that. We could come up with a clever way to deflect them. Like, uh, you can't come inside because something horrible happened. Um, yes, but the Redeemer is definitely alive. You gotta yeah, make sure you say that. And dangerous. Yeah, he's alive and dangerous. Armed and dangerous. Tell oh. them a plague has broken out and they must not be here. They must isolate. If That's a great idea. If there's a plague, they would assume that we're weakened and they would probably strike. But a highly infectious, super deadly right. plague. A plague of rabies that makes you strong and angry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and if that doesn't different... work, if they are not dissuaded and being gutter folk or other. Then Copernicus is out of ideas. I will note that if we don't allow pa people to pass through our village, then the economy is going to go down. How about this? How about this? Oh, no, what the economy. We... What if we build a fence around the city? Yeah, and we make everybody else pay for it. <laughs> uh. That's an idea, I suppose. Korag could begin construction, but we would still need a reason why we didn't let people pass through when we always have before. We could call it a toll. They have to, they got to pay to come in. But then we're still letting them in. Oh, shit. shit. It's expensive though, like really expensive. Well, certain people can still get past that if they really then want Then we to. welcome them because they are rich. <laughs> well, it's decided the then. Most resources <laughs> well, he, looks like Copernicus has made the decision. We will have a rich town of rich people and no one else. The poor are not allowed in. Good. Uh, now to the grass hill. <laughs> uh, that has nothing in it. I'm a, a little unclear about what we're doing. We just made a lot of money for the village. I, you could call us entrepreneurs. Want... So uh, we're, okay. we're building a wall. And we're only letting in rich people. Yes. Guess yes. what he's trying to say is that he's setting up a... I like this plan a lot. ...which is going to be absurdly expensive to the point where only ridiculously wealthy could get in. Which, you know, could be people who already want to destroy this town, who have high access to wealth. Am I the only one who's the I've got this? it. Eerie, you're right. We need to set up a fake redeemer, like a scarecrow, and then yeah, we'll think like, he's still alive. Get like a cutout, like a paper cutout, and put it in his window, and then uh, backlight it. Well, we still have his head, don't we? Yeah, put that on a, put that on like a broom. <laughs> Most people are unaware what the redeemer looks like. Well, then it don't matter. Well, I mean, we want to go for authenticity. You know, we got to make sure. Uh huh. There is something that we could possibly do, but it might just be better to just not have them even see him. Like we can say, like they're watching, he's watching them, or things of that sort. Oh, when like you a shadow into, in a window. Like, well, we don't even have to do that. We could just say that he's always watching. I got it. Good idea, Eerie. We'll paint, uh, what's it called? Graffiti on walls that say the Redeemer is watching. I thought you we didn't like words. It'll make people go insane. Wait, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> I forgot where here. I am. <laughs> Never mind. That's the trauma from the fight that's making yeah. him act strange. <laughs> <laughs> this is harder than I thought. We need a simple, clear plan. If you have no input, then me and the Elder can discuss. Oh, oh. What if... Every single person who comes into town, we tell them that the Redeemer is watching them very closely, and we just have everyone in town act super scared of the Redeemer. How good is the town's acting skills? Yes, I don't believe the town will be up to snuff. Yes, it's... I... What if we hold an acting class? Now there's an go. idea. Oh, all right. Yeah, wait, 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 okay. 
show. We're going to put off going to the cave in favor of holding an acting class Let's for the entire town. have three weeks of acting class, and then we'll go to the, <laughs> the Green Hill. Oh, dragons above. <laughs> Why did the Fatima choose you all? Yeah, this is okay, a good okay. question. What if we go to the Green Hill first, and maybe we'll try and find some acting along the way and bring it back? Maybe the real acting, which the friends were going to make along the way. Maybe uh, we can lean into the whole fact that the Redeemer is pissed off because we had chased someone out of town recently, and now we're just distrusting of outsiders, and no one's allowed to come in for a bit. Damn right, The Redeemer is pissed off, and he might kill people. He's pissed off and very alive. D don't even have the alive part, just... No, we gotta okay. make sure we say the alive part. <sighs> That is the important part. Yeah, because they got to think he's alive. He's mad and alive. Just say that if you come into town, you have a high chance of the Redeemer just up and killing you. So for their safety, they should not come into town for the foreseeable future until he's chillaxes. I'm going to agree to that plan before we propose another one. I'll let the current merchant know and make sure anyone who comes into town is aware of the situation. All right. And they pay the toll. Uh, when do they pay the toll? When, when they leave? When they enter. When they enter. No, what, what about both? Wait a minute. What if we charge them a toll? Both. Wait, what if we charge them a toll to enter and to leave? Yes. That's brilliant. It, it doubles the profits. It's decided then. No, no toll for now. <laughs> I really like this plan. He said it's been it decided, so I think it's been decided. <laughs> that seems final to me. <sighs> you know, this it is really dangerous out there. I I can nominate myself to collect these taxes. Uh, are we going to see him again if you collect them? I mean, I'll see them. I mean, you'll see them, but will anybody else? Um, it's a little fucking calzone. All right, no, you're not collecting the taxes. It is now, hold on. becoming quite clear why we needed the Redeemer. Yeah, if it weren't for us, then uh, people would just be passing in and out of the town without making it any money. We're heroes. Has Copernicus warped all your minds to believe money is the most important thing? Me? Oh, I think I did that. Yeah. yeah I think that was Jimmy. Well, money is good for the town, and the town is the most important thing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> all right. Hey, you know what? Before we get this sidetracked, wait, let's... Uh, wait, wait. So we're collecting double fees from everyone that enters the town it's from and everyone who going. isn't allowed to enter yes. we collect the Focus fee and on the important points here yes you're right yeah. go ahead tony no yeah, yeah. We're, we're collecting double double fees from everybody who enters your next itch and also we're going to the grassy hill can yeah can i propose a compromise before we get the redeemer's power we just don't let anyone in say that he's there and he's willing to kill people if they even step in he's just piss the fuck off. But once we actually have the power, then we can tax the ever-loving shit out of... And then the we kill the people by. that come in. Jesus, Eerie, that's so aggressive. I guess I agree, though. It's decided, then. <laughs> Go off, girl boss. <laughs> <sighs> okay, cool. So, for now, no one gets let in. She looks to Scarlet with complete desperation. It's decided then. <laughs> How many I... times have you said it's decided <laughs> then in this meeting? Until the conversation <laughs> ends. I truly hate to be the one to say this, but if these are the lengths we're going to, to collect taxes, then do we even need the Redeemer's power? I mean, money is not... the new Redeemer. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. We are simply becoming another consulate settlement. Yeah, I know, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> then should we just send word to them? No. We must maintain our independence. That's I'll do it. important. Please, no. It's decided then. 
We no, are now part of the <laughs> <laughs> no, we are not. Maybe whatever's in the grassy hill will help us make this decision. Yes. Oh, I hope Let's so. Let's put a pin in it until then. It's... Let's go. Decided. It's not yet decided. Please. No. Let us know what happens when you return. We'll head out. That much has been decided. It, yes, good, well put. Let's go. <laughs> so Scar Scarlet, Bye, Scarlet walks away and puts a hand on the gigantic, disgusting human face dragon skull and silently weeps to herself. <sighs> Weirdo. Yeah, who cries on skulls? It's so strange. <laughs> I'm down mm. for whatever. Are you coming with, Granny? Oh, no. <laughs> it's decided then. The Elder's coming too. I wish no, no, I was no. spry enough to join you all, but I am not. I mean, if you can send a child, why can't we send you? True. Yeah. We only send the children and the elderly to Let's do our not. dirtiest tasks. Let's not. G Granny, maybe you should go and prepare a warm meal for when we get back. Oh, yes. I'm sure that will lift everyone's spirits. Breadsticks and unlimited soup, or the other way around, perhaps. Yep. Oh. Thank you, Elder. Just get out of here. Run while you can. None of us can run. We don't have ownership of our tokens. I was thinking. That's <laughs> yes. very bizarre. Now you do. Yeah. I can ah. move. I can move. Oh, I can breathe. Okay. It should only be doing that if uh, you are joining with different names every time, but you're not. <laughs> I mean the zoomies look at her go okay so we're Just all heading around. to the to the grassy knoll hill jeez one moment <laughs> you gotta get the name right <laughs> we're heading to the book depository oh my god the chat's killing me right now Redeemer, nofers, deciders, noters. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything anyone needs to do in town before we leave? Um, no. Did you need, did you need me to fix that guy's cart? Uh, I remember right. Things are already fixed. Yeah, I believe I with you your, downtime, your downtime, on that. you fixed it. Oh, with my downtime, I fixed it. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So I was going to try and wheel and deal a little bit more with him. You can try. My pigs are like okay, right? Like I, it's, I'd like we got, to like. We got, Go and feed them and stuff and make sure they're alive. Your pigs are okay. To town. Okay. I'll let you know if anything changes with the pigs. If you want to talk to the merchant, I, we can do that. I, oh, I don't have any uh, money, so I'm okay not, not talking to the merchant. Nah, it's okay. I'm, I'm out of money. He, he, he will be gone when you come back because they're going to tell him to leave because he's a traveler. Okay. And we're going to um, try and tax him when he leaves, I think. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. Um, okay. Because uh, I wanted to see if I could maybe get the claw from him that he had. Let's um, go, man. Yeah. yeah. Go do it. Okay. okay. So I fi I fixed his I fixed his cart right already, right? And it was a satisfactory job that I did because I actually specifically took the engineering social skill just so I would make sure that I, if I had to roll for it, I would be able to. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, you really just needed enough time and elbow grease to get it done. Okay. Yeah. That's that's how Tony works, baby. That's how he functions. Um. Okay. Uh, hey, yo, uh, what's, what's going on, uh, brother? I was just checking in to see if, uh, you know, the car was looking okay. Everything was looking good for you. You know, I, I did a, tried to do a real, you know, real good job for you here. Oh, everything's looking great. The cart came out really well. Yeah, well, you know, what can I say? Elation, I got a question for you. Um... You got this, uh, you got this, uh, like, a punching dagger in there. This looks pretty nice, eh? Ah, yeah, you like it? You want to yeah, make well, another purchase in here? Yeah, well, uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm a little low on, uh, a little low on funds. Anything else you need done here for you? Like, I could do a, a service for you? A service for me? There's yeah. not much I really need else around here. Uh, you got my wagon right. fixed up? That's all I've got. Well, uh, unfortunately, then I don't think. Uh, yeah, definitely don't have enough to uh, to bargain for that. All right. Well, I just wanted to come and check. You know, I wanted to make sure 
think of it as like a warranty, you know? I wanted to come and make sure that the, the cart was working for you. Uh, the, uh, and everything was looking good. Alright, well... Maybe you could tell me a thing or two, if you... Heard anything interesting going on around these parts. Yeah, uh, no, nothing. Absolutely nothing. The Redeemer is definitely alive. And, uh, you know, everything is fine. That's, that's quite strange for you to, to put it like that. Well, no, I mean, it's just, I'm so glad that everything is normal and the Redeemer's super alive. Hold on, let me make sure I have the right... <laughs> oh, when do we get to meet the Redeemer? Uh, he's busy, you know, he's busy uh, being alive and full of life. So, you know, unfortunately, I don't know if he's he really set up to meet anyone right now. Brother, you're acting really weird right now. No, I, I'm acting, well, I'm acting weird, you're acting weird, I'm, 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 everything's fine. I'm beginning to think not everything is uh, as fine as you're saying it is. Look, all right. Lord Dima, he, look, uh, he ate, uh, he ate something that didn't agree with him, and he was, like, shitting his brains out, he didn't want anybody to know, so I'm just, like, you know, trying to cover for him right now. Right. He just, he didn't want anybody to know that he was, like, you know, just, it was, he was practicing cartography on the, on the inside of his toilet, if you know what I mean. Ah, I see, uh, definitely a little bit of smooth talking going on here. Yeah. All right, yeah. All right, right. Would, would you shake my hand and swear that that's the truth? <laughs> hey, uh, hold on. I gotta check with. Uh, I gotta check on something real quick. Uh, I'll be back. <laughs> Tony runs away. <laughs> God! I'm crying. Fuck! Uh, <laughs> why? Just why? We gotta go. We gotta. We gotta leave. What did oh, you do? Uh, greetings Not there. I, I mean nothing. What will you give me for this? <laughs> Hands over his hand-me-downs of a cowl and um, <laughs> a uh, his buckler. This old man's going insane. Uh, yeah, old timer. I believe you showed me that old dusty rag once before. I told you wet my troll's ass with it. So like one wealth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> could you, uh, you know, maybe. Maybe I could give you something if you could tell me what that, uh, weird guy, the round, uh, the very medium-looking fella, what his deal is. He's got a lot of breadsticks in his pockets, I don't know. He's saying a lot of strange stuff, saying the Redeemer is definitely alive, shitting his brains out. <laughs> right? Was well, that my business? Take my trash. <laughs> I do not want your trash, sir. Then our business is concluded. Let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Why are you panicking? I'm not panicking. You're panicking. You gotta stop panicking. Eri, you gotta calm down. What? I, I um, am calm for once. <laughs> What's going on, What Tony? did you say? Uh, the, the, nothing. I told him, I told him the truth. That the Redeemer is alive. Tony starts winking. What? Did you Did wink? you, did you? Tell him. Why would you tell him that the Redeemer is alive? Why would he question that to begin with? I don't know. I, I mean, I just was saying. I thought did that, he that was. Ask? Whole, no, did I he thought ask? that was the deal. I thought that was then what we were doing. You, then why did you tell him anything? Because I thought that that would, you know, it's like you got to really reinforce the idea. But. Don't yell. He's right there. Does anyone want to buy my cow for one wealth? <laughs> Listen, I got an idea. How about you give me one wealth and I'll take the cow from you? No. I tried. So you're saying this guy might know about the Redeemer? Uh, what? No, oh, I, I, I mean, he knows the Redeemer's alive, which he is. Isn't this the guy that...
That what? Why did you point at your chin? Because <laughs> I know when he was talking with Jimmy that he has a way to validate to... He's an oaths keeper. Okay, what does that mean? Does he keep oaths? It means he can guarantee that people are true to their word. Oh. Uh, okay, Which yeah, means that's... of all people, uh -huh. you should not lie to. It's him. Well, look, I mean, I didn't I didn't make an oath to him or nothing. I mean, I just told him that the that, that guy was alive. Wait. Which he, he is alive. So alive. Did he ask you anything? I mean, they asked me what what the the guy what the the redeemer was doing i told him he was shitting his brains out because he ate some bad food he got food poisoning late maybe let's go to the grassy we'll deal with this later i'm sure this will never come He's back to haunt us gone when we leave yeah and what's he gonna tell everybody else oh this guy was telling me the redeemer is alive what are they going to say? Oh, they're going to say, good. I'm glad. It's not our problem. Let's go to the grassy hill. <laughs> I, I think I have an... Hmm. Stir. Yeah? We are the redeemers, yes. You are the interim uh, yeah. redeemers. I got a plan. Oh, no. Why are we poking this bear again? <laughs> <laughs> because it's funny. Uh, well, hey there, young lady. You looking to make another purchase there? I wish I don't really have that much money. Uh, my friend was like... Are, are you like okay? Am, am I okay? Yeah. I gotta say, my wits are all still about me, feeling all right. What about you, Flipper? You feeling pretty good? Yeah, always doing good. That's good. Um, are you gonna come by around this part anytime soon? Uh, after this, I mean? Oh, well, after this, I think we're going on up to, uh, Midway. Oh, Midway. Um... Do you have any other, uh, any intents of, like, coming back here, I mean, though? Because I like your stuff, and I'd like to... save up for it. Uh, I suppose we could work it into our schedule. This is, uh, definitely an interesting group you got around here. A lot of weird things being said out here in Sideways. Weird things? I mean, it is, uh, rumor-filled, you know. You know how small towns are. Yeah, I suppose I do. You ever hear of this place called Barry? Barry? Yeah. Please don't tell me this is a joke that I think it is. <laughs> now, what would the joke be about? <laughs> you... <laughs> you jerk. You're not going to be upset if I say it, right? Definitely not. Well, I'd hope so, Mr. Oathkeeper. Bury the stick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? What are you? What was that all about? Oh, well, we gotta get what mean around here. What? No, he said he wouldn't be mad. Uh, oh, I guess you didn't promise that. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I don't quite understand the joke. <laughs> really? Oh, maybe it's just small town stuff. Little, little Miss, have you got a penis? No. It's a... Are no. you trying to seduce me? I will not give discounts for any such behavior. Oh. Well, I don't really know how to respond to that. Why don't, um, you, why don't you just run along here? Okay. She just like throws her hands in the air and just walks on. Well, All right, go into the go into the grassy hill, the grass hill. Well, I guess. 
<laughs> okay, we're going now? It's decided? It is decided then. Oh, what did you do? I was trying to... Mm. So you know how you like... You can like make you promise things and make sure that they're actually true? Yeah. I realized that I could sort of word twist them by telling him that, yeah, the Redeemers are alive. And if I say it like that, it seems like it's just like, you know, a little bit of slang, but that is technically correct. Wouldn't he notice you said Redeemers, not Redeemer? I don't know. I kind of slur my speech all the time, so it's sort of, you know. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think this magic thing allows for slurring of speech. Counterpoint, what if we don't talk to him? Eh. He's Maybe he'll buy your cow. Right? We can make him swear an oath never to come back. I... Oh, we don't talk to him. <laughs> that also works. <laughs> <laughs> it's decided then. We're going to the grassy hill. Listen, I can fix this. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is like in like what a... Are you actually... <laughs> This is like in a team-based <laughs> game where your team just feeds one person one after another. Yeah, yeah. They just respawn and run back in. <laughs> it's, uh, it seems like an awfully weird conversation y'all are having over there. <laughs> yes. It very much is. You're not coming over here to do some funny business. I definitely already warned you not to take uh, any of my stuff, not to harm me. No, 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 no. I would never. Jimmy looks at flipper whoops I'm very scared of him I, I, I've done I've pulled many pranks but uh, I also like having my bones intact <sighs> all right listen um, you've had conversations with all of us and <laughs> I'm just here to tell you that the Redeemer a redeemer in this town exists, and they're the, they're good. I, I I can swear on that. Does he think we're stupid? No. You 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 want to swear that a redeemer is alive <laughs> in this town? Yes. Why would you want to be doing that? I don't know. I'm just a kid, dude. The adults are weird. I want to make this real it's easy my, on you. It's my first if, day! If you'd like to purchase my services, I'd say I could make that oath happen for, I don't know, about 20. Man, I'm broke! Oh, I see you got a your fancy sword there. Yeah, I already bought a sword from you. Oh, I'd be willing to take that in collateral. Why would, why would I give you the sword? Don't seem like it's worth a fine penny. You really trying to buy the sword that I bought from you? Well, if you see, if you want to make an oath, then I have to charge you the price. One moment. I said I need your money. For what? What? Listen. He huddles. All right, listen, we pay him a little money. We tell him the Redeemer is here. When a Redeemer is here and exists in this town, bit, bat, boom, we're no longer in trouble. Why do we even we need just... to tell him anything? We could just leave. Yeah, we could just go. Yeah, we could just I... go. You know what, Jimmy, you're so right. If we give him enough money, we could just have the toll be the same amount plus one, and then we'll just make it back. I... It is decided I... then. Let's leave. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, leaving, yes, but, um, why, why is he making you spend money? I, I said I would swear that a redeemer in this town exists. What, what was the build-up to that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you, you just asked him to perform a service and then offered to pay him? Man, you adults are weird. You're I'm not just much trying to fix things. Gamer, are you? I, under I understand your pain, Jimmy. I you really are a so child, weird. I think. I'm realizing. 
We're setting up a child. Yeah, okay, come on, little kid. Let's, <laughs> let's go to the grassy hill. <laughs> it's decided then. It's, I'm, here I am deciding. <laughs> this is. I made it so much I worse. like how I'm going to tell him I'll be right back and then we're just. We're just fucking going. Yeah, can we just leave? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how we can the situation. It's, it's, it's so... He, he's going to wave at the guy in his uh, I feel like the only way would be to kill him, but I have a sneaking no. suspicion he's so much stronger than us. We just leave. It's fine. <sighs> I, I don't... You can just leave. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, we got a knoll to go to. Okay, so he's getting ready to leave because cool. this place is getting a little bit too weird for him. You're all walking to the south, and after a no. moment or two, you realize Don't that the north. Scarlet mentioned the cave was up north. They're going to have to walk past him again. <laughs> this is going to be awkward. Just okay, so cover, cover the side of your face. That yeah, he's I'm like covering the side by. of my face yeah. with, my, with my cowl as if he totally can't tell this is me. Forgot where I parked. Oh. Sideways is one of my favorite places to go now, brother. Outsiders, go home. Oh my god. Keep walking. We've oh. all... We've all... Oh, no, can, we, can we please... Alright, let me, uh, let me... Yeah, let me move you all out of... Disaster area. I hate I to tell you, but I think we're hit. still in the disaster area. We <laughs> exist. I, yeah, we're, we're the disasters. I think it, I think it moves with us. <laughs> Uno momento. While I prepare the next map. Yeah, I, I'm surprised you didn't try and mind wipe him. I, well, I have this weird suspicion that it won't work. So I'm just, it's just, it's just, some, it's just a vibe. <laughs> Take an oath, make him forget the oath. Uh, I, I, I don't think that, <laughs> so, so. Something about his magic type just makes me feel like he he would somehow be impervious, and I just didn't want to take that risk because that big guy, ah, uh, he will crush us, probably. You sure? He looks nice. His name is Flipper. If we hurt his friend, oh. his friend hurts us. That's actually. I a really just knew that. Like, idea. Just, just the moment that I looked at him, I just kind of knew. Plus, the consulate uniform underneath it is probably not, you know. What would happen? So it's like magic, right? When he makes an oath, what would happen if you mind wiped him on an oath he just made, and then he immediately broke the oath because he didn't remember it? Uh, it's possible that he might. I, the, the problem is that I don't know, so it's possible that his oath might override my mind wipe or something. It's like Pokemon. That's so interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We don't know what types are effective against others. Yeah. Yeah, earth types, fire type, like what is he? A Pokedex doesn't it know. It gives me a... It gives me like... Ghost fighting type somehow. Ghost fighting? So so yeah. Pee. Like he's just so cool. Uh, full art of Flipper. Yeah, there is. Flipper? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flipper is so cute. Yeah, I forgot to show that one. I've been having a lot of trouble with the show handout thing and it's a pain in the butt oh uh, let me know when you're all loaded ah! i am loaded <laughs> I show that i'm loaded 
Mm. I see like a path in front of me. Oh uh, yeah, don't move yet. Okay. The group travels into the forest in search of a definitely empty grassy hill cave, or whatever it was they ended up deciding to call it. It gets a little bit easier once they realize and pay attention to what the uh, Scarlet had actually been telling everybody is that it was up north, and as long as they followed the precipice, somewhere along the lines they would find a cave opening in the side of the cliffs. They come past a couple that are obviously not the ones in question until they finally come here, after traveling through the dense forest, barely any light going through the tops of the tree leaves, and ahead of them, a very large cave opening appears before them. Large enough for... It's big. That's my, uh, that's my DM descriptive. We got a big cave. Uh. And you're all free to move about. Oh, cool. Now, before this must we enter be the this grassy hill, unassuming grassy hill, we should probably pick an order to walk in in case we need any resistance. Well, my idea is that I don't take the lead. That was actually the I opposite of my it. idea. <laughs> I'll go behind Abby. I'd all go first. Women and children first. No women and elderly. She's a, she's a pig farmer. She's got. Wait, this. I'm not elderly. Fuck. <laughs> I played myself. <laughs> do do I see anything when oh, I enter I... the cave? I search oh. around a little. I look with my eyes, oh. seeing. Jimmy, the... why did you run ahead if you didn't want to go first? Because clearly you're gonna make me do it anyway. No. Come on, Tony. That's Moxie. I like it, kid. The group enters the oh, cold, oh. dark cave, I immediately can't. smelling a disgusting musk of raw sewage and garbage almost coming from the end of it. The halls also, of the cave echo with the sounds of a faint flame flickering somewhere deep within. I'm going to do oh, this, no, even though it might here. not work. Ooh. The group moves Ooh. stealthily, we think. <laughs> we think. Potentially. All is it takes is one blood? person to start screaming. Is that blood? I guess we'll find oh, out. Shit. I stealthily approached whatever the source of this red material Where's is. Where's Tony? Can you investigate? Uh, yeah. What do we What do we need me to Over check here. out here? Oh, man, Over here. Blood. Over here. Uh, can I investigate the blood? Yes. Emmy's the first oh, to get down oh. and look and try and figure out what's going on with this blood on the ground. It is been here for a really long time. It's oh, it's dry. Uh, stained into the ground. It seems like something had been dragged through here, going from this direction being pulled up towards further into the cave. It seems like something was dragged through here. This direction, up through the cave. <laughs> I can't move. Everyone stay close. You can move again. Thanks. I'm just trying to make sure that people don't get too far ahead while someone else is doing something. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm just... Can Jimmy, I see that? Jimmy, I'm actually surprised. I didn't realize there was a sight line there. Hold on. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. So Jimmy turns the corner and he can hear the flickering of flames in a distant room. The light hmm. peering through here allows him to get a slight glimpse of what he sees, and it's another troll in the other... Uh, this large opening in here, sitting in front of a fire. This troll's a little bit weird. You haven't seen too many trolls in your life. Uh, but definitely a blue skin troll is something you have never seen of or heard of before. Gotcha. I'm gonna slowly back up. Oh, hey, Demi. Guys! Up? There's a troll! Wait, seriously? 
Yeah, I like one? a. I, I, I don't know. He's he's like blue. A giant blue troll. Is he the one who killed the Redeemer? I, I, I dude, I don't know. Maybe. Well, the thing that killed the Redeemer is made of stone, right? Is he like a stone troll? Well, we don't know what actually killed the Redeemer. Just that there was an arm there when we found him. So maybe he killed a thing that had an arm. Or I agree, Eerie. We should assume that this is the one who killed the Redeemer. Well, if that's the case, then we definitely got to take revenge. I agree. 100%. It's decided then. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love. <laughs> <laughs> it is decided then. <laughs> Should we sneak up on him? It didn't work much the last time. That's my yeah. specialty. Let me let me take care of it, okay? Here. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go. Uh okay, so I'm gonna go. We'll be right here way. if you need us. Um, okay. So over uh the troll is like over here. You can see a little bit of him. Okay. Can I sneak out? Can okay, I'm gonna be as sneaky as possible. Uh, can you roll subtlety for me? Sure. And if it's lower than Jimmy's, you'll be using his. Okay. What is he doing? Can we see? Well, if you click off your token, you can uh, you can get like a better oh, view. Yeah, yeah. Is he just like chilling by the fire? What's his? Yeah. What's he? What's he doing? Medium Tony. Yeah. Steps around the corner and sees mm -hmm. a troll sitting, warming his hands before the fire. Behind him, a almost like a, a kitchen counter full of random assorted food that he's pilfered from the area. Carrots, vines, berries, various animals like deer and, and such. And he just is minding his own business, chilling, hanging out. Okay. Um. Does he look... Uh, he's, he's just doing his own thing. Um, do I see anything in there that looks like it belonged to the Redeemer? Can I uh, investigate that? Yeah. Okay. Investigate. Like, did he... Because I want to see if this is actually the troll that, that... The Redeemer actually had some beef with this troll. Let me think if there's anything else you would notice. Unusual. Okay. Mm -hmm. First of all, I have. It's hard to show you guys. We got a full, a full troll. Oh my god, he's huge. He is absolutely massive, ripped and shredded. And like I mentioned before, you haven't ever heard of or seen a blue troll before. Okay. Uh, the only things you can currently see are him sitting on a large stump. Seems he's moved a tree in here, some rubble behind him, a simple troll life, and all mm -hmm. of the assorted food on the back. You don't see anything that is, like, uh, startling. You don't see human remains amongst the food or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, um... Copernicus will give Tony a thumbs up from further back in the cave. Uh, Tony will look back and uh, he'll try and sneak back. Ooh, hold on. Uh, and he'll say, "Hey, it looks like uh, it looks like he's just a troll. He's just minding his own business. Not murderous. No, I mean he's just shitting around the fire. He's got some food there." Wasn't that the same thing that, you know, your friend did, though, Copernicus? I don't know. When I walked in the room, he was killing the boy. That's a great idea, um, Copernicus. I mean, Jimmy, why I don't you go we talk to him? And if he tries Ooh. to kill you, no. then we can no. he's friendly. No. Yeah, there you go. Why do you keep... No! Because you're an innocent child. Nobody would hurt an innocent child unless they're... Unless they're a monster. You know and then you, we kill you, them. You, give me a wealth and I'll do it. Oh, Jimmy... Only one wealth. Don't. Okay, maybe two. I am risking my life here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said one. You said one. This is ridiculous. I want one. Pay the boy, Eerie. Come on. 
Yeah, since it was your idea, Eri. Go on, Eri. It, this is not my idea, and I literally only have one left. It has been decided. Take one for the <laughs> team, Eri. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, we're friends, right? No. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was harsh. He's so fucking brown. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yuri. I'll be your friend. <laughs> Here for that one, Jim. <laughs> Jimmy, you can have two wealth. I'll give Jimmy two wealth. Oh my god. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good bullying. Oh Here's god, two that wealth. Made me so <laughs> Here's one for risking your life and another one for hurting your friend's feelings. <laughs> That's how Wait, we do so it. I on am the your fly. friend. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm off. We'll be right behind you. I'm gonna die. Well, hang Jimmy. on. Jimmy. Slowly. You might, only, you might only be severely and permanently injured. You might not die. Jimmy slowly moves up. Are you just stealthing or like letting him know that you're turning the corner? Uh, no, I'm trying to stealth. Okay. I was going to use the stealth roll or do you need me to do another? You can use the, the one you had is fine. Okay. Is his back turned to me? Uh, he is looking down into the fire, gazing into it, not really paying too much attention to his periphery at this moment. Then I'm going to go around the side here. And I'm going to sneak around. Oi, uh. what are you doing in here? Ah. Uh. Uh, nothing, I, I got lost. Lost? You just get lost in a troll's cave. He, yes. What do you <laughs> want? I don't want to have to hurt a kid. Uh, Help. Some scary, some scary people pay me to check what's in this cave. Scary people. Where? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you motherfucker. <laughs> Jimmy points down. Jimmy! <laughs> he walks around the corner, his gigantic <laughs> body rumbling the stone beneath him as his hands hold on to the top of the roof and peek around the corner. Not seeing anyone standing there at this particular moment. Are you in danger? Y yes. They're down there. I, I swear it. Beef sees no one. I'm telling you, they're there. Fine, I'll prove it and look. Did we hear that? You hear him coming, you can hear him stomping. He's a slow moving <laughs> troll, and I am assuming you all. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. It's, it's commitment <laughs> well, time, I'm gonna, Emmy. I'm gonna hide. Well, I'm just waiting for Jimmy's word, so I'll just keep waiting, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hold on. I have to give him sight. He's being weird. Yeah, of course. Crump, like, mm. Emmy would wait because Emmy got Jimmy trouble last time, so Emmy trusts Jimmy. Aww. <laughs> this is just a law. This is just. This is just revenge for getting me killed last <laughs> <laughs> I take your money and then I get you killed. Mean woman. It's just business. What do you want from the kid? Did you hurt him? No. Why did you want to hurt him? Mean women everywhere. I didn't want to hurt him. I thought you wanted to hurt him. How tall is this rock? Just Why would I want to hurt children? I hide behind it. Oh, I don't want to hurt any children. It. That child's my friend. I hide behind this rock. Small boy said he got paid to come into my cave. Yeah, I paid him too wealth to go in there in case you were going to kill him so we could tell if he was friendly or not. Well, if you were friendly or not. I'm not friendly. You need to go. Sorry, could you repeat that? <sighs> <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's some initiative right there.
Damn it, I was gonna fuck again. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, no. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Wait, what? What initiated it? Uh, because unless she says something else, he, he is going to smash her, and because enemies declare combat before they do things, you still have a chance to try and, like, talk to him. Uh, but I wanted you to be aware that if, uh, you know, he's he's ready to smash. I'm moving Jimmy and Emmy up front um, because they are closest. Uh, Eerie is not in. So are we, are we, like, would we be talking an initiative order? Or would we be able to talk, like, right now? Uh, you can just talk right now. And I'll add you to initiative if it becomes relevant, I guess. Um, uh, I will... You got some beef with beef. Have fun. It's a big slab yeah. of beef. I'm gonna go in because she, she's nice to me, at least. Oh, hi, Emmy! Hey, so... Eerie. <laughs> oh, hi! <laughs> what? <laughs> Fancy meeting oh, you hi, here. Guy. <laughs> so, how did that uh thing with the kid go? I mean, he. I mean, I guess uh, him running up to you and saying, "Hey, if you give me two wealth, I'll run into the cave." Kind of worked out, right? Hi, big friend. Are you playing prank on beef? Um. Is no? this funny? No, I don't think it's funny at all. Uh, honestly, the kid's kind of been harassing her a lot. He keeps trying to, like, get her to pay him to do things, and eventually she just paid him two coins to get her, you know, to let her, to leave her alone, you know? Girls go through so much every day, and it's just... Well, I guess I don't really blame the kid. He, he kind of lost his mom a long time ago, so I think he just kind of wanted attention. Lost his mommy. But, yeah, he lost his mom. And you're taking advantage of this small boy. <laughs> no, no, we're not. He's kind of taking advantage of our time. He he just kind of like runs small around. Small boy says is whatever. innocent. He has no mommy, and you made a fool of him. <laughs> I like where this is going. Um, Eerie, you... I think you're pissing him off. <laughs> Boop. <sighs> Can I peek around the corner? Do I have to wait? Are we in initiative order? Or can uh, I peek well, the I, I will accept that Eerie has mine white beef. <laughs> oh, well done. God, this is fucking hell. What do you humans want in my cave? Uh, we're here to pick up a kid. He ran inside. Uh, not to bother you, Mr. Blue. I've seen no kid. Are you playing a prank on beef? Oh, he doesn't remember me going in. <laughs> well, Are you he's sure you didn't small. see him in there? We, we, saw, we saw him run in. I'm sorry, we, we won't take too much of your time. Can we... Could you, could you take a look, maybe? If boy came through here, I already ate him. Oh. Okay, then. You ate him? Uh, she, she's gonna fire at him. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, then that would be initiative order. He eats children! <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's true. Um, let me make sure everyone is like, he's snapped to grid. Man, I'm getting like song whiplash right now. Let's go back to the combat music. It has been decided. We kill the troll. <laughs> oh my gosh. Emmy. Do you go along with this? Uh, yeah, sir. I think he ate Jimmy based on what Eerie said. <laughs> You're so fucking well, dumb. <laughs> your, your mind didn't get wiped. <laughs> I just believe Eerie. I'm a pig farmer. <laughs> you see, this is the girls. Girls get it done. Girls just want to have fun. <laughs> oh, this is some cursed shit. It's especially sad because I know this past character. <laughs> he's he's really. 
Oh, you do? Oh, no. I do, yeah. Well, it's your but turn, Emmy. role playing. Yeah, this was Strippin's old character. I know. <laughs> sorry, Strippin. I'm really what? sorry. I guess I'll walk up and I'll say, this is for Jimmy, and I'll stab him in the stomach. Oh! No! I'm sorry. Not beef. I use the redeemed blade. And I'll take a little swipe at him. The massive troll is barely, barely phased by your attempts at hurting him. Oh shit. Oh Jesus. Beef gonna eat good tonight. You already ate my friend. Jimmy? Uh, Jimmy up to anything out there? Oh, mm, and I gotta add see. Eerie. Jimmy's... If I'm, Jimmy's just gonna search whatever's up here. Oh my god. I have no, I have no idea that y'all are... Again. Actually, wait, do, here. do I know that they're fighting right now? Uh, you can definitely hear the gigantic troll screaming, echoing through the cave that he's going to smash and eat them. You could hear the whole conversation. Yeah, okay, I'm still gonna search, like, whatever's right here. <laughs> just searching. So evil. Uh, hold on. The initiative is being a little weird. Stare, I sent you a DM. <laughs> Fuck! Okay. Huh. This is being really weird. Okay, it'll be fine. We just do things out of turn order and you investigate um, all the things there. Yes? Yes. Uh, you go through the troll's belongings as he fights your friends to the death and you find, uh, as mentioned, a bunch of various raw uh, like deer carcasses, random assorted things to eat. A troll goes through a lot of food. Also, tons of vegetables. He's got no problem with eating all those carrots and berries and whatnot. Can I take a carrot? Uh, sure. Cool. I take a carrot in my hand and slowly start nibbling at it. Okay. Uh, can I move after investigating? No. Darn. All right. Well, that's my turn. Okay. Hold on. Initiative is being double weird now. Okay. Now it's medium Tony's turn, apparently. All right. <clears throat> One, two... Three, four, five, uh, five. I think that's all I can do. Tony will, will walk out here like, wait, let me RP this. Tony will walk out here. He'll be like, hey, guys, which go? Oh, no, a troll. And then he'll like go up here. <laughs> OK. Copernicus. Um, <clears throat> seeing everyone else rush in, Copernicus will. Oh! Oh no, my party! <laughs> uh, it was three, four, and then uh, I'll guard. Eerie. I feel like I know oh, it's coming. Mr. Troll. <laughs> Do you know the Redeemer? Redeemer? What yeah. do you know about the Redeemer? Well... We're his new protégés. And we were sent here to find something. What? He that man would take no prodigy. Well, he would if he wasn't around anymore. Oh, uh, where did he go? If 
five feet under. He's dead. Only five? You killed the Redeemer. No, someone <laughs> else killed the Redeemer. Who could kill that man? Yeah, that's what we're trying to find you out. Liars. Me, right? We're not liars. Where's Kenneth? Kenneth would have told me if he was dead. Wait, you're friends with Kenneth? The snake? Are you not friends with Kenneth? No, we're friends with Kenneth. I just didn't think Kenneth knew you. Kenneth what? is weird. He's a snake. <laughs> well, where is he? Probably playing chess. Town. Hold on. If we bring Kenneth here, would you believe us? You're not just trying to run away. I mean, we physically described Kenneth, right? He's he's a purple snake with like a little heart mark on his head. He he does he nods a lot. <laughs> that's, he's very sweet. That's Kenneth. Has he ever told you that joke about the rats? Kenneth can't talk. You can talk to some people. Really? Yeah. Oh, wait, you're not Kenneth's real friend if you can't talk to him. I thought he just had a little rat friend and that was that. That's Renneth. Okay, Kenneth and Renneth play chess with each other all the time in our town. But if the Redeemer's dead, then yeah. why didn't he come tell me? Because he's dead. How would he tell no, you he's dead? Kenneth. Because he can't I, talk. I'm going to smash you just for safely. fun, small man. It's I'm possible he wasn't able to travel safely. Hmm. You bring Kenneth and clear this up. Okay. What about Jimmy? He ate Jimmy. I don't know what Jimmy. He ate Jimmy. Jimmy. Unsheaths his blade. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he ate Jimmy. I mean, look at his face. He hasn't. He doesn't even have blood on his teeth. No, there's. He's bleeding actively. Look. Out of his like stomach. I did just stab him. Just oh. a nosebleed. Jimmy. Jimmy starts roasting the carrot. Hey, Jimmy. Where you are you? Take me food. Oh, hey there. I found a carrot. That's my carrot. I'm cooking it. Don't one? I heard. Wait. No, he didn't hear that. His mind got erased. <laughs> Small boy, you eat one carrot. That is all. Jimmy offers a roasted carrot to Beef. Beef takes it and slides it down his throat, not even chewing it. Mmm. You know Kenneth? Oh yeah, he's a purple snake thing. Hey. I see him all the time in town. Has he told you the joke? Uh, no, he hasn't. Mmm, funny. Your friend. How did you get past me? Ninja boy! Uh. I literally just walked in. Oh. I, I walked in, we had a conversation. I told you there were people outside the cave, you walked out. Me no Stuff remember. Happened. You must be the new redeemer. I, I am a redeemer, yeah. Oh, it all makes sense now. Be very angry. I should have seen and saved Redeemer. He chills yeah. with the boy eating carrots. Nice. I guess I'll walk in. I put another carrot and okay start roasting the next carrot. Jimmy, you're alive! What is going on here? I'll run oh, over hey. to Jimmy and I'll grab him and I'll tug the shit out of him. It's very painful. Ah! What are you... I thought you were eating... No, I'm just eating. Oh, oh, I guess I misheard. What'd y'all do? I stabbed a troll. Why did you stab him? I thought he ate you. Why did you yeah, think he, he did ate me? Yeah, he did say that he like ate 
We ate children, so it kind of... Wait, have you ever eaten a That's kid? That's racist. But no, you said it. Like, literally. I didn't remember I was making things up to scare you. Oh. Well, it worked. I do that all the time. Up uh, hey. a light response, my Is guy. This... Are we cool with this guy? Is he... Are we cool? Is he cool? Yeah, we're roasting yeah, carrots just... right now. You want one? Oh, yeah, yeah. what, free carrots? Ooh. Sign me up. Yeah, yeah, I'd love one as well. You don't get any. He's my friend. That's my food. Me only share with small boy. All right, all right, sure, whatever. Okay. Tony takes out a very stale breadstick and starts to eat it. <laughs> Dude, no. that, that breadstick is like a rock at this point. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Beast he probably hurt somebody with it. Slams across the ground and walks up to medium Tony, pushes two people aside. You give me that. What? The, what? The breadstick? It's my breadstick! You coming to beef home with food, you pay tribute beef. Tony, I you've given everyone a breadstick. Like, why wouldn't you give beef one? Yeah, but that's because I was doing it to be nice. Now, it's like, you know when somebody... You know when you're gonna do something, and you were just gonna do it anyway, but when somebody asks you to do it, you don't want to do it anymore? Yes. Wow. Yeah, well, it's... Yeah, yeah it's I sort of like that. that. Ah, fine. Tony, uh, with much effort, breaks the breadstick in half and gives him half of the breadstick. <sighs> He very carefully pinches it between two gigantic fingers. Very well. So to get this straight, you are a friend of the Redeemer and you didn't kill him. I couldn't kill the Redeemer. <laughs> That's... wow, okay. Okay. Dang, I didn't know he was that strong, I just know Mr. Yeah, I figured was... I could kill him if I wanted to. Redeemer put me here. Say I should keep Cave safe. I see him from time to time, and he tells me funny stories of town. You say anything about Medium Tony? Oh, Medium Tony, yeah. You're a fool. I mean, kind of. Yeah. Only half of one. Dipshit, he say. Oh, whoa, hey, 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 He said that about me? More than once. Oh, well, at least he knew my name. Yeah, the Redeemer talked about you. That's pretty cool. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. That's pretty cool. He called, hey, the Redeemer called me a dipshit. Oh, is it? That's pretty cool. I barely believe he's gone. Sad day. Yeah. What are... You supposed to protect in here. Like I said, we're the newly instated redeemers, and we're trying to retrace his steps. I scare people and eat people. I don't go to the back. Ah. So nothing you like the... came out of here or anything. You just make sure nothing leaves and nothing goes in. Sometimes beef move rock for Redeemer, but he doesn't need it. Hmm. I guess then we'll just go deeper in. I do live here and not in town. Was it really to protect the cave? You want troll live in town with stupid people. People aren't stupid. You. People well, are great. Well, you so talk too well. much. You talk too I little. Lives there though. Listen, don't make the giant troll very strong, uh, noble troll any madder than he already is. Yeah. Um. Okay then. I guess we'll just go deeper in. I'll move rock, but you must tell Kenneth. Come say hi to me. Okay, I promise. He you not understand him, but he hear you. I noticed. He does play a mean chess game. Yeah, so I hear. If I knew how to play chess, I'm sure he'd beat me. That's not hard, Tony. Hey, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> not for any good reason, but I'll do it anyway. 
I choose to take that as a compliment. I choose to take that as a compliment. <laughs> Beef stomps his way through the cave down to this large rock that you can tell has been moved back and forth many times across the stone on the ground. <laughs> and moves it once more so that the interim redeemers can enter the cave before them. You he You immediately smell as he moves this. The most disgusting thing you've ever smelled in your whole life. A giant mixture of swampy, humid, humidified garbage. Ew. Yeah. Beef don't fit. Have you ever been in there? It stinks. Beef don't fit. Stupid people. Well, what? Get me first. Tiny she says it doesn't fit. It's a very tiny hole. You promise you you're not going to close it once we go in? <laughs> Jimmy offers one more roasted carrot to beef. Oh, thank you, my own carrot. <laughs> Sorry. It tastes much you. better than roasted. Do you just eat them raw? No. Oh, sometimes. That's bad for you. Roast them. Troll cut take anything. Yeah, but it tastes better if you roast it. Uh, eat food for sustenance, not taste. I mean, you could do both. You gotta live a little sometimes, beef. Daughters. <laughs> How do you not again? Uh, uh control, control shift. shift scroll wheel. Remember. Oh, well, Jimmy goes in ahead first no, because. Oh God. Okay, I follow. <laughs> uh, bye, Beef. Sorry, I stabbed you. I thought you ate my friend. Oh, no problem. No hard feelings. Beef would have destroyed you. No, I could have taken you. <laughs> no. And Beef will walk back to his fire and mind his own business once more. <laughs> I love how that entire exchange went down. That could have been so much worse than it <laughs> so was. Funny. Yeah, especially considering the fucking stone at the end. That that would have sucked. Oh yeah, we would have needed. Oh him no, to move not that. this music. Well, you're exploring the, <laughs> the stinky ass cave. Maybe don't send Jimmy first. I do another noise. squad stealth. Whether or not it's effective remains to be seen. Jimmy, maybe we should let. Emmy, go first. I got this. Are you looking hurt? That's never gone bad before letting him go first. <sighs> what is all this? Uh, oh. Jimmy starts to push forward into the cave and you immediately find a bottlenecked grouping of old wagons that have been stored here. Like, uh, just to be kept. They're old, decrepit, decaying maggots or uh, not maggots. Termites are eating away at them and they're barely usable anymore. Completely covered in dust and grime. Can they be climbed over, or is the wood not even, like, stable Uh, you can anymore? climb over them. They're gonna, like, fall apart, and they're easy to break. Okay. Are there, like, footprints of the Redeemer on here? They're... Like... Investigate check. Ah, oh, shit. Which I don't think you can even do, actually. I do not, no. Hey, Tony! Hey, Tony. Yeah, come hey, Tony, on. can you look at the, um... Hurts you to see if there's, like, Redeemer prints on them? Because if you went this way, then in theory, there should what you, be a little, like... Uh, what are you asking me to do? Like, what, do you, what am I looking for here? Look to see if there are parts of dust that are lighter in, like, circle patches. Uh, Tony will pretend to do that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't see nothing like that around here. Uh, oh, then maybe you didn't go this way. Hmm. Should we burn them? No, 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 no. We shouldn't touch anything in here. If there oh, hang on. Here, no, he brings up a good, good point. If we did no. burn them. We're in a cave. We'd suffocate. How does air in here? It, it would burn up all the air. How would it the burn up air? Yeah, you can't burn air. Can you burn air? He takes out his... Yeah, wave your, fire poker. Uh, wave, your, wave your thing around. 
Guys, come yeah. on. This is just the Redeemer. He put this stuff here for a reason. If it needed to be burned, he would have burned it. Yeah, all right, fine. Tony, you could fix up these wagons, and the next time a trader comes to town, we could just give him a new one. Hey, I'll fix your wagon. Nah, I'm just kidding. I try Jimmy, to hold I on. Blinking at him. As Jimmy climbs over all the wagons, trying to make his way through the cave, he steps on a soft, squishy pile of blankets, and underneath it, a man immediately jumps up from underneath them. What? Hey, oh. hey, man, oh. what's, what's the deal? Jitters. J Jitters? What the hell? Yeah, all what the, are you doing here? I, I would have cleaned up the place, man, if you told me you were coming to hang out or something. How'd you get it? There's a giant rock blocking. The, how'd you get in here? Uh, it's just, you know, sleeping here and sometimes rockets and, you know, get locked in a few longer nights than you want to. How long have you been in here? Uh, jitters. I don't understand time too good. Jimmy just pats Jitters' head, just slowly. Oh. So you're all here already, huh? Uh. Uh, wait a minute, already? Yeah, Jitters had dreams. I haven't seen you guys come here a couple times, and you killed Jitters, and <laughs> I hope this time I don't have to die. Uh. Well, you're lucky. We were about to burn this entire place. We're, we're not, we're not. We're With not. you inside. Oh man, come on, what did I ever do? That sounds like murder. Well, we didn't know he was inside. I'm just, you know. I mean, is it really murder if we didn't know he was here? It's like yes. manslaughter, I think. The great gods above know all crimes, even those unknown to those not known. Bro. <sighs> anyway. In your dreams, is there something that you can warn us of in this place? Um, nah. Mm, what are you guys afraid of? Uh, he just points back to, uh, to Emmy. Or Eerie. Not Emmy. I'm scared of her. Now she's in here. She's in here the whole way. Um... Is there anything dangerous in here? Nah, nah you, got, you guys are always do. fine. It's just jitters you gotta worry about. Well, you have to worry about you? Why? I'm too dangerous. Why? Why are you dangerous? I'm a loose cannon. So am I. Mm, real recognize real. <laughs> True. <laughs> you know, you all right, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 you guys bringing it food. Yes, Jimmy's got carrots. And Tony They're has They're mine! Okay, jeez. Well, we, what are we doing? Well, I gotta give up another breadstick? Are you kidding me? Oh, no, God, I just... I... Ah, fine. Oh, <sighs> I, only have, have I only had two. Jimmy offers Jitters a roasted carrot. Oh, Still hell slightly yeah. warm. Thanks, man. Still warm. You a real one. So want me to I show you around the places? I haven't cleaned up in a while. Uh, yeah. D do you live in here? Wow. I thought I was dumb. Well, don't want me. He pops. Oh God, he <laughs> pops out of the out of the wagon mm -hmm. and starts walking around the corner. How does he live in here? Duh, it's kind of it's kind of dark in here. Tony will climb over the wagons here. Peek inside. Well, this is, uh, is, uh, around here you just wander around, man. There's a pile of filth. And, uh, sometimes there's rats. I eat the rats. Gotta make sure the rats stay dead. You don't want the rats in here. If the rats leave, they're gonna talk to the other rats. Then they all know. I, uh, I... Uh, what? Yeah, he's seen the rats step on him. I'll take your word for it. And uh, if you come, uh, come with me over to the, 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 the place. Uh, 
Wait, yeah, this place isn't too bad. Look at this. Oh gosh, wait, I How don't know which direction you went. Oh no, oh no, no. Oh no, I'm lost. I'm lost. Jimmy just climbs on a box. Hey Jitters, where'd you go? There's no response from Jitters. Hello? Jitters? Jimmy searches the general pile around him. Oh, it's the carts again. <clears throat> Jimmy goes through these carts, notices uh, there's a whole bunch of boxes, starts popping some open, and there's a whole lot of extremely, oddly specific, weird knickknacks. So you can pop open a whole crate, and inside of it, there is a, a wooden carved frog. But instead of a frog's face, it's a troll's face. What the f Sort of like the things you would find in an old grandma's knickknack shop that are just like cute to, to put on shelves. Jimmy looks at these and just keeps throwing them behind him as he finds one useless item after another. Copernicus will try this one. It looks the a little chest. bit. Uh, I think I threw myself out of the map. Do you know where my token is? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Copernicus pops open that chest and a swarm of centipedes crawls out of it, scattering in every direction. Uh, yeah. He tries to Bugs. stab them with the fire poker. No. <laughs> he starts stabbing uh, individual centipedes as they try and run away and he rains down wrath upon their small universe. Have at you. Anything at the bottom of the centipede chest? A black... <laughs> goopy decayed fungus that's been growing in here for years and years uh jimmy ah. inspects this whatever this red thing is because it's different <clears throat> the red thing is the top of a wagon cart like a uh, uh. yeah you get what i'm saying yeah i get you so it's all just mostly garbage uh, it is mostly garbage, and you're honestly starting to feel a bit nauseous going through it. The stench of things, even though coming back here it was the worst thing you had ever smelled, every time you open up another box, a plume of disgusting vapor and scent dust all pops out with it, being untouched for eons. What's this? We should burn uh, this. The top of another wagon, similar to the tarp. Oh, was okay, okay. At. This place is trash. Why was it being guarded? There's probably something of importance here. Maybe hit I don't want to go there. crash that of diving. Copernicus, we, we, we should burn this when we leave. I no. agree with the boy. We we should not. The we sh found this place important for some reason. It's all I found stupid little frogs. He wouldn't go through so much effort to hide this place and have it protected if it wasn't important. It smells awful. Well, maybe that's just another deterrent. I mean, he smelled awful. Jimmy he examines <laughs> these. Jimmy examines this area, hoping for something. What's down this way? Jimmy Jitters! Can, jitters uh, Jimmy continues to find more of the same. Old grandmotherly knickknacks, a few musical instruments with their strings all snapped. You're being baited in by the endless boxes, but nothing you have seen would be even worth picking up. Jimmy contemplates setting a small okay. fire. The rest of the group continues to move through the most disgusting part of the area. The ground entirely soaked with muck. Oh, this is taking me back to the pig pen. Copernicus. Hold up. Oh boy. You can't see what's ahead of you, but you know that this room, just by the echoes of your mucky footsteps plopping through the muck, 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 uh, you can hear something strange ahead of you in this large opening expanse, like a generator humming. Uh, just a light. This seems like not trash. Eerie. Yeah. Would you gather the others? This one seems different. Okay. 
Hey, Emmy, can you go gather the others? Oh no, completely. A completely rhetorical question, but my sword of fire. How does it? How easy would it be to set things on fire with it? Uh, if it Asking. were flammable, it's kind of would be like holding, like a match to it. Not not quite a match, just like heated metal. And a lot of the stuff in here is so damp and humid from the air that it would be extremely hard to start a fire without intentionally, like, having a flint and steel and, like, really trying to find dry stuff to burn, but pretty much everything is soaked in... That's far too much effort for Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy does not care that much. Yes, moist. Moist muck. Hey, Tony, could you get Jimmy? I think uh, we're meeting up with the area at the end of the cave. Yeah, sure. Wait, where, where's Jimmy? I don't know. It was like uh, I'm over here, Jimmy. Okay, all right. We're meeting up at the end of the cave. Ah, oh, okay. I tried to set it on fire. Probably for the best. Maybe do something about that awful smell. Yeah, sure. I have some bad news, Copernicus. We can't burn it. You weren't trying hard Why? enough then. Why did you try? Um, we literally would have died. That's also it, true. It smells. Yeah, at least it's burning. It's when we leave. It's like with Hendrik's it, house. It's. Uh, we probably still shouldn't burn it. Now, I believe I hear some tomfoolery ahead. As you all we start to have God. a conversation, your voice is slightly echoing into the room ahead. You hear a small voice from the corner over here. Whoa, who's there? Okay, not again. With the other guys. <laughs> Voice of the cave. You Reveal will, thyself. You will wake it if you talk too loud, please. Wake what? The dragon. Oh, fuck. Wait, there's a dragon in here? Is that dragon? Or a dragon. Please keep your voices quiet. I need your help. Is this a body? Mm. Uh, just a dead body? Before you, you see the remnants of a man so aged and warped that he's barely only a skull with one eye, attached to the muck behind him, covered in filth, binded to it, that if we even were to try and move him, it seems like his bones would not all come off of the wall how sticky and stuck he is within the piles of garbage. Somehow, though, he remains alive, shaking, and barely even speaking to you. His mouth doesn't move, but you can hear his voice within your minds. So he's like... He's like a, a skeleton with one eye? Yeah. Sir Daniel Fortescue. He doesn't get the reference. Oh, sorry. Quick. Before he comes, he must kill me. Okay. Hold on. I kill it. <laughs> you kill it? I stab him with a fire, fire poker. No. Yeah, this is fucking no, unnatural. No. I don't like <laughs> that. I wanted to do it. I, I said I did it. Eerie does it. I also stab him. Eerie successfully kills an innocent man. I stab the corpse then. Okay, the, the corpse continues to get stabbed. And that is that. <laughs> Quick, kill me. Okay. <laughs> sure. Well, that takes care of that, Tony says loudly. Another mission complete. Well done, everybody. Regarding? She looks at her hands for a minute before she centers herself and stands upright. Oh. Holy fuck! Ah! Ah! Huh. Ah. I'm sorry, I was getting things ready. He started screaming. What have you done? Ah. Uh, he asked us to kill him?
It appears as though this dragon raising a hand would love nothing more than to smash you into the dirt, and you're certain it could with a single hand. But it's restrained for some reason, hesitating to destroy you. Hey, uh, where, where the Redeemers? Where, where the Redeemers? That's us. We's the Redeemers. And what's that exactly? It shows no interest in answering. And before you know it, in a gigantic clap of a sonic boom of all the air entering the space it once was, it vanishes. Everyone else saw that, right? That wasn't like a hallucination. No, I saw it. I saw it. That is to say it. Well, that was terrifying. What did we... Well, time to burn the body. Wait, wait, For wait, reference. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What do you I, mean, I, no? I'll handle it. I'll no, handle it. we agreed to burn the bodies of the yeah, things we yeah, come across. Yeah, 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 but I'll handle it. No, you... Do you have fire? I intend to gather fire, and I want to make it, like, nice and ceremonial-like. I don't want to just... You can say some words like... while I burn it. Please, no. I, I want to. Please. All right, well, then do it. I'll be waiting here. We will do it when we leave. Mm. So I can gather the firewood. And stuff like that. Were we... Was it bad that we killed that guy? Because the dragon seemed pissed. I, I think it we, really was. I think we... I'm saying we, we really you're the one that killed him. Definitely murdered him. You, you look yeah, like that him. was on you, and, and I'm not even messing with you this time. That was on you. Okay. Yeah, that was kind of on you. Fine. I swear to God, if she wipes my memory again, I'm going to lose my mind. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, then let's gather whatever the ceremony you want to do, but I, we should hurry up and do it and get out of here. We, we need to find what the Redeemer... Oh, fuck, I hope it wasn't that. I hope it wasn't that. I mean, it's kind of might have been that. It might have been, but we should still look. Let's scout the rest of the cave, and maybe there's another guy, and we'll just talk to him a little longer before we stab him. True. Fuck. The group circles the edge of this open expanse finds nothing more within the cave, but a large, sunken pit where the dragon would have once rested inside the slumber of his nest. Damn it. Jimmy searches the body. You find nothing on the body but filthy muscle pulled apart and stuck into the other filth around the room. Yeah, I think that was... that. He was the thing that we were supposed to get. Fuck. Well, time to burn. Hold on. She's gonna collect his skull. What? No, you're not. It's, it's for Scarlet. W was that what she asked us to do? She, she, she always collects skulls. It's literally why there's hundreds of skulls in there. Isn't like the whole like taking his skull? That, that's like the thing, right? It's like the entire point of the ossuary. Hey, not for me though. When I die, you know, just throw me in the trash. All right, fine. Just so your I don't know teacher is happy, but I don't like it. Put a minus one from a Copernicus on that, you know, report card. Okay. She's gonna collect the skull. She's gonna pick up the body. I'll go handle it. She's gonna walk on out. Oh, so I guess now I'm doing the burn? Okay, fine. No, no, she's carrying the body. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so gross, Eerie. It's all mushy. Eerie kind of freaky, though. She's just gonna... <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so hardcore.
as you're all leaving, everyone chill. <laughs> Am I not ahead of them? You are ahead of them, but something else has got to happen. Okay. Cool. That's a, that's a, give me a second there, champs. Wait, how the, wait, Aerie's super far ahead. Wait, what? She took off at a dead sprint with the body. <laughs> Fucking took the body and ran. That's a, hold on there, champs. I'm holding. I'm holding as, as hard as I can. That's a hold on there, champs. I'm holding. I'm pausing. I'm preparing as the dungeon master. Okay. I'm I'm very paused right now. Each and every one of you, as you're walking out at your own paces, eerie, ahead of the pack, begin to start to feel like you're falling. Like you can't keep your legs up, you're walking. Maybe it's the noxious airs from this disgusting place that it, the fumes are finally getting to you and you're losing some of your consciousness. Stepping, each step is harder. You see yourself fall through the floor and your body collapse above you as you keep falling and falling down into an infinite black expanse of nothing. Loading a map for you. Oh shit. I love this song. It's a good song. It's a really good song. Just dinking and donking. As you begin to fall, your own startled screams are distorted and mixed with the bizarre things you see in the distance. The stars themselves fading past you, twisted and ripped away. And you're lost within a cacophony of other voices screaming through your head. Your body falls limp and continues falling, but there's no sound of wind flapping in your ears or even the sensation of your clothes moving as though you were actually changing places. You focus on this feeling, the sensation of falling is completely lost on you and gravity ceases to exist. Within this void, you aren't sure how you would actually know if you were falling anymore. So you float, you, gain, you begin to feel comfortable within it, submerged within almost a deep water. I have too many buttons for this. Me. I don't even know if this one works. Are we by? Are we alone, or do we see other people? Like, do we see everybody else with us? Oh yeah, that breaks that. Hold on. Hold on. Stars. Map tools. Pretty. I hate you. Oh. After a moment of drifting, from far above, the group coalesces together and can see each other within this ex infinite expanse. The lights flicker on around you, and you begin to see a greater galaxy in the distance. But something about it is odd. It feels almost fake. Like an awareness that everything around you isn't real. The stars at night having more clarity than this. The things in the distance are blurry, they're inconsistent, the stars flicker and move in strange ways. Uh, can I try to get a grip on reality using dementia? You can do that. Uh, I start screaming. I don't know how to <laughs> swim, there's stars! Oh my god! 
What's going on? Feels heretical. Hey, everybody calm down. Okay, the last thing, listen. I got a good piece of advice. Uh, and it was, listen, my dad gave me this advice when I was a young kid, okay? And it's always helped me. If you ever Shut find the fuck yourself, up, Tony, I don't no, care. Not no, the time. It's, it's good advice. If you ever find yourself <laughs> floating through a field of stars, make sure you focus on one real far away so you don't get motion sick. Wait, really? Your dad said that? Yeah. Okay. Try it. It'll help. Eerie, I'm just getting more nauseous. <laughs> Eerie attempts to ground herself. And feel like she's not in sort of some weird mindscape, unreal place and bring herself back to her body. But unsettlingly so, the more she tries and makes sure everything here is real, or is not real, and she can return to her body, the more real it actually feels. And as the galaxy in the distance becomes less and less blurry, a giant figure becomes visible to all. Okay, this is a problem. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Oh god! Oh fuck. Oh wow. <sighs> Wrong one. Please don't be him. Uh, oh, what is going on? Who the hell are you? Uh, listen, I'm oh, sorry. Fuck. Uh, I don't know who this is. Um, hi. We took a wrong turn in a cave. A wrong turn in the cave! You play things! You are good for nothing! Except one thing. Dance. Dance for me! Everyone! Your pressure. Oh, okay. Your uh, uh, pressure uh, dance. Jimmy starts dancing. Tony starts doing the cabinet. Ah, yes! Oh, shit. Show me your moves! I'll, uh, I'll start doing a little hoedown. Yes! Pretty lady on the right, you're winning! Okay, I'll pick uh, up fact. my and I'll start seeing This is a competition? A you will be judged, and you will be destroyed if you do not dance! Uh, okay. <laughs> Jimmy right, dances I'll, I'll like he's never danced before. Go. Oh no. Oh, wait, no, wait, no. wait, hold on, hold on, everyone. Wait, hold on, this doesn't make any sense. Why are you dancing? Are you real? Are you... Tell me you're real! I'm real! I'm super real, I'm, I'm the most real. I'm hyper real. You... Bald man, the bald man is real, the girl. Holy shit, your mind is fucked up! Medium man. Uh. Okay, we're all real here. So then... Wait, holy shit, you killed Harold! You Which fucking one killed Harold! Uh, You're gonna have to be a little more specific. Was he the leathery-skinned guy? The man in the, the trash, yes. Trash man! He asked us to kill him. Of course he asked you to kill him, you fucking morons! Did he look happy? No. No? So it was a mercy kill? Alright then. And what is this? Are you redeemers? How did you yep. find this cave? Yep, that's why we're here. God damn it! I was getting comfy. It only took... Far too long. Well, there's only one thing we can do now. What's that? Kill yourselves! What? What? Uh, what? No. what? You kill yourself! What? You dare speak to me in such a way? Have you any idea who you talk to? No, no. you still haven't told us who you is. Ah! Thousands of eons have cried at the oh, very right sound here. of my name. Eons uh, crushed beneath my teeth. The ground and soil trembles at the very name. Seymour Butts. 
Uh, I'm sorry, what? what? Hmm. Have you Are not heard of me? Of, you? of course you're supposed to have heard of me! Oh, nope. Um... Do they remember me for nothing? Have I truly been a corpse this long in the cave? So useless! Uh, yes, so you I guess so. Were you imprisoned because of that person that was... Oh, you're so stupid now! I tucked myself away from the world, scared of what I would do to it! Seymour! You have not heard of Seymour! No. no. What do you mean, what you would do to the world? I founded this town, Chastity. I hid myself away. But even that wasn't enough. I had to go deeper. I had to completely remove myself from society. I knew that it was only I, Seymour Bots, who would destroy the world! Seriously? Very noble of you, Seymour. Thank you. Okay, so how do we imprison you again? You didn't imprison me. I am inside of you. You must kill yourselves. How did you You're... get inside of me? What? Ah. And I was in Harold, and then you, you killed Harold. Okay, well, God damn it, Eerie. Eerie, uh, Eerie killed Harold, so maybe you're just inside of her? We can mm, kill Eerie. It is weird, I shouldn't be inside <laughs> all of you. Copernicus. That is a joke. <laughs> Lee, I listen, it's nothing personal, you know? Maybe we could not kill ourselves? It's not so bad. What if we burn the body? I Fire usually solves most problems, I've found. Floating in a little bit behind you all. One more individual joins the group. Um, can you recenter the map? I was, I, I unlocked my scroll. Thank you. I unlocked my scroll wheel and was spinning, and I zoomed out like a million miles by accident. Oh shit! Hey Jitters. Oh hey guys. Hey, jitters. Jitters pulls a, wheel, a a cheese wheel out of his head and begins eating it, not caring that there's a giant skull talking before him. Come here often, hey. I see. Hey Jitters, what's up with this guy? Oh, now I'm pretty sure that's my, my boy, Death. Death? Death? He said his name was Seymour. Oh, no. no uh, the guy who's fighting against nature? The, yeah, the one from the, the stories. I told you! They don't know of me. It's just they, they changed my name to make the story scarier. So Death's real name is Seymour right. Butts? Well, it depends which way you look at it. Eh. Uh. Cool. I can see My name is Copernicus. It. Hello, Copernicus. Where? Wait, if we were to kill ourselves, why wouldn't that just release you? Oh yes. You're yes, death. of course. So why would we do that if you are the problem? I am not so, the yeah, problem. So yeah, we actually need to stay alive as long as possible. Actually. Well, see, you're you, not the problem. If you kill like yourself, the then I would go into a new body. And you all seem very boring. Oh, yes. So, well, you want us to kill ourselves rude. because we're boring? I don't want to be stuck with you for a lifetime. What, how old are you? You have a long way ahead of you. Another 500 years or... It ain't... Well, I mean, that's being a little generous. Right, Come on, it ain't so bad. We're not that bad. A lot of people wanted to kill me for lots of reasons, but being boring? <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, fuck me. Bad. Fuck you. I am deaf. Apparently, they're calling me that now. You're, it makes sense. Apparently. You're deaf, but you can't kill us. Well, why would I... Don't tempt him, Jimmy. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm well, not gonna kill... Could... If I'm if you, I'm not going to kill myself. It. I'm not a loser. Whoa. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Kill oh, us? No. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's not say things we're going to regret, all right, Seymour? Look. The way I see it, we're stuck with one e each other one way or another, right? Either we die now or die later, so... Why rush things? Well, I was kind of enjoying sitting in the cave. <laughs> so you were really? trapped that in Really? That sounds more Harold? boring than us. Well, after a while, you get used to it. You don't have to worry about anything. 
Every once in a while, a new redeemer comes by, he says hello. You call him a shit idiot and he goes away. Why was uh, the redeemer keeping you in the cave? Little, little piece of uh, advice there. You can just shorten it to shit idiot. Shit idiot, huh? He wasn't keeping me there. I was keeping... Wait, how did this go? It's been so long, maybe he was. Well, you all let me free, so it doesn't really matter anymore, does it? I think you owe us. We set you free. I owe you? Yeah. What do I owe you? Uh, what do you got? You owe me for killing fucking Harold! I liked Harold! He would always say, oh, please, please let me free! And I would torture him, and he would go, no, no, Seymour, please! Why did you torture Harold? It was funny! Occasionally I would make him So you're dance. just an asshole. Of uh, what? He's a child. He doesn't know. Oh, he's talking to great Seymour Butts. Oh, thank you. Put a little respect on the end of my name. Well, so what are we doing, guys? Well, you tell me. You brought us here. Are we destroying the world, or what kind no. of plan you kicking up? How would you destroy the world? Mm, uh, I'm not sure. And throw it into I... the sun, or... Seymour? Uh, Seymour Butts, rather. Y yes, thank you very much. Do you say the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Wait, do I have to I'll say the whole thing, like, every well, time? I'm you kind of like... growing on this death thing is growing on me. You can call me that as well. Okay, okay, Jeff. Uh, Mr. Death, or is Death just okay? Mm, Seymour Death. Seymour Death. Senor us, Senor Death, uh, got it. Can I... All that I want is to keep chastity safe and to live a peaceful life. That is it. I kind of just want to be left alone too, so maybe we can work something out. Well, then you shouldn't have killed Harold, you dumbass. <laughs> He's got a point. Yeah. I don't mind having a peaceful life with you. Wait, so you're stuck inside us forever? You're trying Until to settle die? down with death theory. But yes, those are, those are the rules. I'm stuck in your brain and you have to hear me and I have to hear you and your stupid human problems and you're thinking, oh, he's so I... cute, I want to do that with his penis and I need to kiss a man. Whoa! Oh, wait, you can see inside of our heads? Occasionally, I try not to. I appreciate that. The filth in there. Yeah, sorry, most of that's me. I apologize. No. I excuse I you, do my mind is a temple. Well, I guess this is our lives now. Do you yes. do you do anything, Death? Like, do you have any abilities? Do I do anything? You fucking little shit. It seems. Well, you've just Death. been hanging out in a cave alone. I I do have you. Seriously, there's no one talking about me. I mean, you're kind of yeah, ever present, like you. a stink in the room, you know. Hmm. Y'all, I, uh, I don't know, I killed gods and, and killed people and... You killed gods? Name and, one. And life and nature and Legion killed himself and, uh, I suppose, uh, Is Baphomet okay? Baphomet? That's fucking Ooh. loser. Mm. Well, nature's Psych a bitch is my bitch. Whoa. Hey, did you know when people die, they get corrupted by nature? No shit. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, why do you do that? Why they do that? Are you for real? Yeah, well, no, I'm asking you. Because of nature, you fucking dimwit. Well, why do you let that happen? I didn't let that happen. I fucking killed nature. Well, why'd you kill nature? Because now he they... was making people turn into monsters! He but made he me do it! I didn't want to do it! Okay, so... Basically, uh, this is just a running theory here. Life was denying you death or true death in the people, 
because they would come back to life after they died. No. Or am I off You're on some weird fan fiction shit. Okay. <laughs> Maybe put it in your words. In my own words. Um. Hmm. Life really wanted to die. And nature and legion and a lot of the people wanted to die. And they knew that only I had the power to do it. See more bots, conqueror of worlds, slayer of gods. They trusted in me. But I knew they were foolish. And so I held off until they started killing everyone. And then I, yeah, I fucked them up. So life and nature started killing everyone. Oh, it was real bad. And then you killed them. They made me do it. I'm but innocent now they're in all still of this. fucking everyone up when they die. But wouldn't that be fucking weird if nature died and it all disappeared, you dim-witted boy? Uh, if you build a chair and you die, what happens to the fucking chair? Think about it. Use your fucking brain. It's still there. Uh, yes. It gets burned. Very clever. You have any more little things you could tell me? Did you burn nature when you finished with it? Burn? That's what we're supposed to do. No, that's weird. Not weird. I pissed on his grave. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Is that yeah, weird? Little, it's a dominance weird. thing. I felt good about it. Yeah, well, it's a, that's me with fire, so, you know, don't judge. I went through all his little holes and hobbles where he had formed the life cults, and I drew graffiti of me shitting upon him. Oh, graffiti's bad. That's yeah, writing. You don't, yeah, you don't want to be writing around here. No, okay. I feel like I can do whatever I want. I'm Seymour fucking bots. Can mm. you actually do anything you want? Like right now? Do you... what do you want me to do? Uh... Uh, turn even... Jitters into a fish. Hey, 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 leave Jitters out of this, he's cool. That sounds turn kind of weird, is that a human fetish thing? No. Not everything is fetish, I'm it just is. curious. I've been around for a long time, it always is sex and violence and sex violence. Violence sucks! The fish, I guess. Uh, Seymour, hypo- uh, rather, um, uh, Seymour Death. Hypothetically, going onward, are, are, I'm assuming we're not going to be floating in this forever. Uh, are we able to talk to you privately, or is it just going to be always together in our heads? Yeah, I think we're all connected for some reason and very weird. Are you hitting on Death Shit. Eerie? No. I what do you have to say to death that you can't say in front of us? I told you, sex is always that's where your mind goes. It's actually really not. I'm learning a lot about here. I really think it's good. the meaning of life, personally. I figured it out a long time uh, ago. Well, life is evil, so we shouldn't ask for the meaning life of Life is dead. Death killed him. Yes, fuck yeah. him. Do you know... <sighs> not my actual dad, but... My dad. Oh my god, you want to talk about your father? You meet the almighty Not aspect really. of death and you want to talk about your daddy issues, you it's... fucking incredible. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to talk to you privately. These conversations don't sound like they'll be fun. Well, you said you can talk privately? Not to you. Oh. I'll talk to the, the other one, the blonde. Can you bring okay. my pigs back to life, your, please? Your pigs? I can't bring anything back to life. I can kill them again. Can I have a breadstick? A breadstick? Yeah, give me a breadstick. Mm. You're going to shove it up your ass, aren't you? You no, dirty little pretty, boy. Listen. No, I'm we're, I'm you wait. we're going in out. circles here. Your breadstick in my butt sack and all of this. I don't want to hear it anymore. Butt sack? <laughs> Listen, some really god funny. you are can't even give me a breadstick. Let's go. This guy ain't no god. <laughs> What's a butt sack? He doesn't know what a butt sack is. <laughs> Please educate me. <laughs> oh my word. Yeah, Jimmy, uh, Gubby Reese. <laughs> Jimmy covers his ears. 
When a man loves a woman. <laughs> <laughs> it fills up with poop over time. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> okay. Hey, Jitters, what are you doing here? We never got to that. Uh, Jitters continues eating his cheese wheel and will turn and look at everybody. Uh, yeah, what? What? What do you want? What are you doing here? How did you... Uh, I think you Just guys... Just in the cave? I, I guess that's a reasonable assumption. I guess you're stuck with me forever, man. Oh, okay. Wait, should I kill myself? No, don't do it, Jitters. No. I got... No, Jitters, you I... got so much to live for. I'll... Like that big wheel of cheese. I'll do it. I'll do the kill Please. myself skip. No, don't. don't. All right. But let me know if it ever comes to that, man. Okay, but I said right. it won't to kill you, so... It won't. And that's what they all say. Mmm, I... made deliberate steps so that I wouldn't have to. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Why did the Redeemer keep you in that cave inside Harold? Oh, uh, so I can't go and go back and die in the Redeemer. I, he didn't. I just wanted to be there, didn't I say that? You did? It was fun in the cave. I didn't want to destroy the world, and I knew my power unchained the power of Seymour Rats. I had to put myself away. And the Redeemer occasionally, I believe, would make sure no one awoken my power. So that's our job as the Redeemer? So oh. we just have to make sure you don't wake up? You're the new... Like all of you, that's fucking weird, too. Yeah. Oh no, the Redeemer's bullshit. It doesn't mean anything. What? Wait, 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 what? What is the title and what the fuck do you think it means? I thought it was like, uh, he protects the town of chastity. What? I mean, that's sort of what he's like told to do, but it doesn't really, like anyone can do that. How did he get- We're all redeemers in our own way. Yeah, so what, what are you redeeming yourselves of? Tell me. Plenty. But, um, Mr. Seymour Death. Oh, yes. How did he get his power? Because he did have power. I've seen it. Um. Oh, yeah, yes, the Redeemers, you can't do that anymore. Why not? Oh, because you already have me in your skulls. So you'll never be a uh. Redeemer. Oh. Yeah. What does that mean? What do, you, what do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? Also, the Redeemer, they have a whole bunch of stupid fucking people in their heads. Or something like that. And well, I'm already in your head, so you can't really do it anymore. Wait, hold on. Rewind. Redeemer has multiple people in their heads. Yes, you're following along well. And you take up all of the space, so now we can't put other people in our heads. Absolutely. Do you see how big I am? Who are the I other am? people? Have you tried Can you concentrate not being yourself so big? into only my head? Or one of us? I don't get to choose, little girl, and, and you're the most boring. I would not do that. <laughs> Jitters! Can you come yeah. Jitters, my man! I wish it was you. He continues eating and ignoring him. Are you in Jitters' head, too? Why the fuck else would he be here? I don't know why anything's happening. No, well, same. Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> good, <laughs> good talk. Person. It's decided. <laughs> <laughs> this means we have to choose someone else to be the redeemer because we can't. Man, and you we know, do need his power. I, I gotta, I gotta hand it to you, Kraken. I think I can solve a lot more of my situations in both role playing <laughs> and real life by just saying it's decided and yeah. like doing something. <laughs> I highly recommend it. <laughs> Who are these other people in the Redeemer's head? Um, randoms. Randoms. Can we meet them? Well, I'm assuming he's dead if you're all here. Yeah. That last Redeemer was pretty cool. 
He didn't give a shit. Yeah, I, I remember watching him shit in the bushes, and he definitely shit like somebody who didn't give a shit. <laughs> Absolutely. His father yeah. cared so much, and he finally came and talked to me, and I explained to him, your whole life is pointless, and the Redeemer doesn't mean anything. He gave up. <sighs> he gave up being Redeemer? No, he just gave up in general. He realized everything was pointless. Isn't it? Isn't Not much of a all. pep talker, are you? Well, I mean, he is in your death. When I have a downer death. When I get all lamped up and I get ambitious about things, I tend to destroy the world and kill everyone. And it's better this way, is it not? So, what happens if we are all to die? Do you just find it? How do you find a new body? Yeah, I just sort of float around, and if I see a person, then it's like, oh, that's the one. And sometimes you just get sucked in, sometimes you... Wait, why are you in all of us? I keep saying I have no idea. It's very, like, it, it's never happened before. This is a first for me. This is some bullshit. This is also a first for me. Yes, I can imagine. I would I've say that it was... I've never me before, so also first for me. It's not really a first for me. Oh, oh, you pissed off my friend, by the way. Which, oh, the dragon, yes, right? The, the dragon, yes. He's very upset. You're going to have to make amends. I... Can you explain that. what the hell that was? The, the dragon. That's what well, it why is. is he upset at us? He's upset because you killed Harold. That was his only company. Well, Evie ki uh, Eerie killed Harold. Oh. Well, then here you're going to have to make it up to Perseus. Okay, how do I make it up to Perseus? I don't know. We'll talk to him. He'll probably okay. tell you to do something silly. It'll be cute and relatable. Okay, I can do well, that. Don't worry, Eerie. We'll back you up. People. Oh, dragon's cute. Say I it. will not oh. be doing a dark cultist dragon's bidding. Why not? Because that's evil. All right. Well, I mean, Lord, evil is kind of subjective. You have the incarnation of death in your mind. You're, you're a bit past the occult, you fool. Wait, really? But yes, we are one. You're the yeah, most you occult thing I've ever seen. Uh, fuck. Oh, you're Come going to have to kill yourself to repent. To Don't do that. He's just trying to bait you. Nope, I think you're going to have to light yourself aflame. Oh, he, he does like doing that. That is like his whole thing. Yes. You're gonna do it, coward. You little baby. Oh. You're gonna light Maybe yourself he can on burn fire. Himself after he's burned all the other Maybe. cool stuff. Yes, no. that's true. That's a good idea, Emmy. I will use you to burn everything else occult in this world and then myself. That's kind of weird. Kind of cool, though, oh, huh? Oh, you're one of those weirdos. The, 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 what, what is the, the name of them again? The Conservatory. Old guys? Conservatory, that doesn't, doesn't that's ring not a bell. It, is it? No, that's like an astronomer's kind of thing. You look at the stars and you go, Oh, wow, look, those stars kind of look like Seymour Bats. Guess we'll call it that. Oh, the consulate then. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The fucking consulate. You dumbass. Why? Don't say that. They're very you smart. Know, <laughs> you know, sen senor, you're kind of mean. I made the consulate. It was a joke. Wait, you did? I thought it would be funny. I see I had a friend that wanted to be a king and, you know, I just made my own city and everything. You knew the emperor? I know all the emperors. I'm the badass. Wow. Can you make me emperor? Oh, yes, definitely. Hell yes. Jitters? Hey, uh, yeah. Are we? Is this... Is there any way to fix this? Is this the wrong path? Uh, anyway, uh... 
was the problem. So it's not a problem. This was okay. Well, if you just float around, man, and you just sort of accept destiny, then nothing's a problem. Is destiny what he's saying or something else? I don't know what he's saying. He's a crazy man. Okay, thank you. You're a great help. Oh, no problem. You have any idea who we can give the Redeemer power? You know, in all of your redos? Uh, um, Redeemer power. What's that? Ah, shit. Maybe Scarlet. All right, Wait, everyone. Yes, yeah. yeah, so you go first. You know. Yes. Are we able to return back to our, like, bodies? Oh, yeah. I mean, are you getting bored? Well, I'm just making sure we're not stuck. Oh, no, you're not stuck. I'm just... I don't and we know. bring you with us. Yes, I'm a bit of a chatty Kathy this morning. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's fine. Okay. New you're people, not... you know. Honestly, you're not the worst person to talk to. Can you help us protect our town? Your town. It's well, his yeah. town. He founded it. You're a town that you made that we live in. And you want me to protect my own town that I made. Well, duh. Yes. Uh, okay, well, what are you going to do for Seymour? I don't know. What do you want us to do? I mean, it's a town that you already... It's, it's just a mutual interest. We're just helping each other out. We don't have to. I mean... As long as you, you do exactly what I say, I will give you anything you want. I am no bargains. Mm. No bargains. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. We whoa, can bargain? Whoa, whoa. Anything we want? Yes. Even money? Mm. I would like two more pigs. Two more pigs. Guys, come on. Don't. Is that really your price? so much more than that. Unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks. That we already have that. Unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks. Anyone else? Any takers? Their deals aren't our deals, right? Do, like, it's do we have unlimited wealth? Thing. No, because we're all we're all a redeemer. This is a collective bargaining. We're all entered into the contract, mm -hmm. and we all get what mm -hmm. everybody else gets. You're, getting, mm -hmm. you're all I, getting two I pigs. I want my free will. I want to keep my free will. Okay, I will allow I you not. to have that, so that's one down. Wait, I, 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 that's, that's not, I mean, we're, we're not signing on to this together. I'm, I'm not, I'm not. You're not oh. making a deal with death. For, no. for nothing. I didn't even offer anything. I, I, I'm not, I'm not making a deal with you, period. Why? Because I'm not that desperate. Are you sure you don't want me to fix your relationship with your father? I don't want to be anywhere near him. Okay, so like I'm totally death and stuff, I guess, so I can kill your father and then you can like, I... marry whoever you want. That's not, that's not, you, you don't even know what's going on, man. It's, I... You don't want to get married. I just want to be happy. Oh, what? Should we... Yeah, me too. Let's all dance again. I think we were happy when we were dancing. Oh. I'll start to dozy do. <laughs>
Uh, there were some posted last week. We got a, a definitely an Eerie's life continues to being terrible. <laughs> it's always, always off. <laughs> Buenos dias, I Wendy. I. <laughs> I can't remember if some of these were shown. It's actually kind of cool. That one might have. Uh, those first two weren't. Yo. I love that style. <laughs> Why is he curling? I don't I remember. There was like, an, like a whole Why Olympic he pick. He's just getting swole. Yeah, he loves he loves curling, I guess. That there was someone who made a picture of each of the characters doing like Olympic sports stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Curler. That's awesome. That's perfect. Aw. Definitely be cute. Curler. Looks like he got punched in the jaw and he's trying to figure out who did it. He <laughs> did get punched. Honestly, anyone should punch him. He's just an asshole. A little menace. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry, I hate this meme, but that's really I don't funny. even know the meme. It's fucking Megamind, it's Megamind, and it's like, yeah, it's this like... <laughs> Man, I'm meme outdated. I know Epic Grandma. I like Epic Grandma. Epic, <laughs> Epic Grandma, yo! The old lady's pretty badass. I'm confused. <laughs> Point of view you're reading. That's the madness that takes hold in your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love that meme. Oh my god, I fucking Dick want my that. butt. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> it's a jump scare. <laughs> 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 oh man. Yo, the quality. High quality. Gross. Yeah. High quality. Oh my ripped. gosh, I love this. Why are you so sad all the time? Cuz no one is nice to me. Being eerie is true. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, he is so cool though, like genuinely. Just making bargains. Oh Pretty shit, cool. Crespo signing his work? What is Yo. this? Oh, I love this one. Right, yowza. Oh. <laughs> That's so a good smug. face. Wow. <laughs> By you L, like we got a component. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's Damn. Sick. Yo, that's my girl L! That's really cool. That's nice. This guy slaps the book out of your hand. What do you do? I don't know these <laughs> memes. I don't. Um, I don't. I have never heard of what a meme is before. You're probably better. Wait, this off is made by Demi. Yeah. <laughs> I was showing my party a very pleasant <laughs> fight. What you tell Jimmy? Very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's Jimmy. <laughs> Jim, Jimmy, go up to that guy. <laughs> oh my god. That's a good one. <laughs> Yo! Yo, that a troll? a troll? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking react, Andy's. Guess like gatekeep girl boss. Oh, shit. Cute. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, my that's God. Like, like uh, Camilla's really like face renders. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Oh, my gosh. That's so guys. I, 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 I'm hyper focused on like the shine on uh, Tony's head. Like that looks so good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tony, just a big thumb. He got no yeah, neck. He, yeah, he <laughs> waxes his head like with turtle wax. <laughs> just looking for thumb wrestling. <laughs> damn, that's really nice. Thank you. That's why if anybody tries to grab his head, they just slide off. <laughs> A tactical like a advantage. Ball. Yeah. Fuck, I just realized we, we have two bald people in our party. Not bald, just round haircut. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, His, yeah, yeah. yeah Copernicus's is intentional. Uh, Tony's is not. Oh my god, I love 
Pathfinder is so fucking cool, dude. He's pretty cool. Ah, carrot. <laughs> Cute. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> What's up, Doc? <laughs> mm. What's up, Beef? Fucking Jimmy. <laughs> Beef's body looks like he's medium <laughs> Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're approaching me. Honey. <laughs> Cla classic Seymour. Mm. You can stare back. You oh crested gosh, this. Like, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Kill yourself. Seymour. No. No. Well, wait, it's the electricity meme. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it took me a sec. Like... <laughs> He's alive. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I genuinely thought he was setting me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's trying to tell you about small towns. Oh my god. I guess god. they all do that joke there. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I fucking love this. That's a, that's, a, that's a good tagline. <laughs> there, oh, yeah, oh. There's, the, there's the meme. <laughs> <laughs> it's decided. Then it is decided. Hog. Look at <laughs> Tony. Look at Tony. He's just an that's actual so thumb. Yeah. Like Deciders. The more thumb-like Tony becomes, the better. I'll, this, is, this is a public service announcement to all <laughs> artists. The more thumb-like Tony gets, like, you're on the right track. Yeah. Smaller and rounder. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, she has the Among Us dumb post-it note. No. <laughs> Reposting this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was shown. I can't remember if it was skipped or not, but that would be it for today. That's all of them.